Hi there, it's Roy Breton here. I hope you're doing well. In this video, I want to talk about Microsoft ending its support for Windows. However, they are actually going to um, support people for another year who have Windows 10, which is great news. But a few weeks ago, I made a video and um, let me show it to you here. Uh, Windows 10 support enroll step by step. But a few people have been saying that they haven't been able to enroll. Now, that they, um, I think Windows is uh, bringing out the support gradually. So let me show you this screenshot here. Um, <clears throat> so um, it says about the Windows update. Um, it's on October the 14th, 2025, which isn't very far away. And it's talking about this optional quality, up, quality update available, which you need to download, install. Now I do sort of Windows updates fairly regularly, so it, mine was already sitting here ready for me to click on, but that was probably only about three weeks ago when I first saw it. So it is relatively new. So let's just have a checklist of um, why, why you may not be able to enroll or not be eligible. Um, uh, if you haven't got the version, which isn't, 22H2. Now, my computer was a, originally, my laptop was originally Windows 7 and I upgraded to Windows 10 and it told me um, I didn't have enough capacity to, to upgrade to Windows 11. So, um, but even so, I can, I still can because they've given, they've given me this uh, option for the extended um, security. So, so missing required updates, which I've just been talking about, um, that may be, may be another reason. The UI not rolled out yet. Um, using a local account, you need to have a Microsoft account. Don't ask me why. I've got a Microsoft account because I use Microsoft OneDrive. But you just uh, you, I'm I'm guessing you could create one if you haven't got one. Well, certainly you could create one, but I don't know if you if you have to have it for X amount of months or not. But um, that could be another reason. So um, <clears throat> it, the, the um, computer ideally wants to be in your name, not like a child's name. Um, it's a domain MDM kiosk managed device, according to my w um, research. Um, already enrolled, you obviously can't enroll twice. Um, regional differences, but I think it's going to be rolled out to most of the world. Um, and making sure you keep your account active for EEA. Not even sure what this is this is just some things I've been finding out so sorry to, if I sound a bit vague but um, this is all I know so um, so the steps to do next are to check your version <coughs> uh, how to update how to switch to a Microsoft account which uh, you see here just a uh, account Microsoft um, dot com account forward slash account um, <coughs> then uh, if it hasn't arrived like I say, it's, it's, from what I'm understanding, it's quite sporadic. Um, you may not see it, and all of a sudden it comes. Not quite sure why. Um, maybe Microsoft doesn't know. Um, make sure you back up your PC before you enroll, just in case of any problems, which you should do anyway. Um, you can confirm your update. So if I go here to my settings, um, this is the desktop computer, so I can um, so I can carry on. I, I can put, put Windows 11 on this computer or I can enroll now here so it might look a bit different to a Windows your Windows 10 if your computer's not able to take Windows 11 so to get to get to Windows update just go to either type in um, Windows update in the bottom here or settings or, or, or click on here where the, where the start button is and you can see the settings up there so that, that's that's fairly straightforward um, just remember that this is only for another year, but whether Microsoft will do it beyond, I, d I don't know. So, um, it, but it, at least a year gives people time to plan ahead. And um, so, if you've got any questions on this, please feel free to leave a comment. I'm here to help and um, answer any questions I can. I'll put the link um, in of my previous video as well, so you can um, see see that. That just takes you through the process. So if you've got any questions, once again, just leave a comment. Thanks very much for watching.